I uh, thought we should have a look, a closer look at access and permissions for groups and group content. In the previous screencast, we saw how to manage uh, group roles and group permissions. They look like this. And as you can see, if you have a close look at these, they, they only, when, when it comes to group content, they only deal with editing and deleting, not with viewing. And viewing is probably something you want to restrict access for if you're using organic groups, because that's a pretty common use case. If you want to do that, you want to have another of the modules, including the OG project. So if you head over to the modules list and go into organic groups, you have this organic groups access control. That's the one. Um, enable that one. And, dum, 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 dum. and you get, uh, well, uh, updated, and you get a me message here saying that you have to rebuild the permissions table. This is something that happens every time you enable and I think disable a module that affects the uh, node access table in Drupal. So do that. If you have a big site with 10,000 nodes on it, uh, it'll take a little while, but uh, you should do it anyway. This is something you usually want to do when you build your site, not when you have uh, like uh, created a site and have it running for two years and then um, uh, introduce organic groups on it, because it can be kind of heavy. But it's still uh, way possible to do it. Okay, so this module introduces uh, two new fields to use with your organic group settings. And these two fields are used for restricting access to uh, groups and group content. If we head over to uh, configuration and organic groups, you know since uh, episode two, I guess, or maybe three in this screencast series, that we have something here called field settings. And that's pretty interesting. Uh, we have here um, new fields. One is called uh, ooh, group roles and permissions. That's one I've been looking for. Good. Uh, group visibility and group content visibility. I'm going to talk about this one in another screencast. Uh, group visibility uh, sets the uh, visi visibility for groups, the access control for group uh, uh, group entities. Uh, so let's add that one and we have... Let's just show you and add content here. Uh, I'm using the example feature in OG and that brings me a group node type and a post node type. The group is a group and the post is a post uh, that belongs to a group. So I'm going to add a group visibility field to the group content type. So I'm adding that to the uh, group here. Add. And that should make it possible for me to, to restrict access to groups. So let's have a look at that. Going to the front page, uh, going into group one here. If I edit this, the field should appear as a regular field on the settings here. And here it is. I can set it to public or private. Let's just uh, check that this works the way we want by going to another browser. I'm not logged in here. Reloading the page, I can view group, group one here, even though I'm not logged in because this is a public post. If I now set this to private, and save. I should be denied access here, which I am. Good. If I edit this and change it to uh, public, I should be allowed access. Save, reload, and I get access to it. Cool. Uh, so that's how, how to use the uh, group access field here. Uh, group visibility, sorry, group visibility field. Uh, usually you're not that interested in restricting access to the groups themselves, but to group content. And you do that by adding the uh, group content visibility field to some group content entity. So let's add that to, to the post here. And I'm clicking here because the kind of user interface tells me I want to click here. But what I really want to do is select up here which bundle I want to add this field to. And I want to add it to the post bundle, the post content type. Group content visibility, add field. And there we go. The post should now have another field. Cool. And let's see here. I'm going to leave this tab open. And my first post belongs to group one. If I edit this one, 
it says it belongs to group one that's good down here it has group content visibility let's first check how this looks uh, as logged out user going to node 2 my first post is vis visible if I uh, use this one use group defaults it will be visible or uh, private depending on the setting on the group which is probably one of you, what you want to use most of the time and this should still be visible because the the group itself is visible. The group one is uh, public. Let's edit that one and make it private so we can see that this works. Private, save. In my Chrome browser, this should now be uh, not allowed. Come on. Private. My first post here. Are you telling me this needs to be resaved? I'm going to try flushing the cache, see what happens here. This should actually not be accessible at this point. Ah, it's still accessible. That's not very good. Okay, if I just resave here, I think this should be accessed tonight. Yeah, okay. So that's an issue that should be reported to OG and probably is reported already. Cool. Then we know that. Uh, so if you right now, if you change the access for a group, you need to resave its content for the uh, access permissions to have effect. You can also set this explicitly to public or private. If you set it to, to public, it doesn't matter what the uh, group visibility setting is, the content will still be visible. All right, that's pretty straightforward and pretty useful. The only tricky thing is that you should go through this organic groups field settings page to add the, the visibility fields to the content types and uh, group types. I'm not really sure how this works with other entities than nodes. Uh, I suspect that there are some problems using it with other, uh, other content because this uses the uh, node access table to, to determine access to, uh, to the content. So if you set this, uh, these visibility fields on other uh, entities such as this user entity. Let's actually try that. On the user, we're adding the group content visibility. I think, yeah, we get an error message saying that we can only attach it to node entity bundles. Uh, that's kind of limiting. Uh, it is enough for 99% of the use cases and we need some more general ways of dealing with access and permissions on entities in Drupal before this can be solved in a nice way. There are some attempts to do that, uh, uh, but they're not implemented yet and they're not too stable yet, so we can't use them in OG, for example. All right, so um, yeah, that's kind of how to, um, uh, to set visibility access to uh, content and groups in organic groups. Uh, I'll see you in another screencast. We'll have a look at how to uh, set permissions and roles per group, which is pretty interesting. We'll also have a look at how to use uh, groups uh, and um, as a non-administrator when you want to add content to groups to see how that works in a future screencast. See you there. Goodbye.